In this video, I want to take a few minutes to show you how you can share a document. In this example, I'm going to share a Word document, but the same process applies to any type of file, whether it's a Word document, Excel spreadsheet, PowerPoint, an audio or video file. So here I have a test document. And I think the easiest way, there are several ways to share a document, but I think the easiest way is to click the ellipsis. And I would go to manage access. If you click the copy link, this may or may not give you the desired results. So if you click here, share, and then the settings, select, in most cases, you're going to be sharing it with other either teachers or students within the institution. So here we're going to select people in our institution. And depending on the situation, if you want them to be able to edit or review or just view it, you can select those, those options here. You can also select if you want to block the download. If you want them to be able to download the document by default, you are allowing them to do that. If you select this, then you're blocking it. So if I want someone to be able to edit this document, I can click apply. And from here, you have two options. You can send this share document directly to the person if you have the person's email address within the institution, of course. Or you can simply copy the link and then send the link however you normally uh, correspond with the person. If you're going to send an email or send a chat within Teams, you can just copy the link here, paste it into the chat, and send it to whomever you'd like. Whoever has this link will be able to access the document as you've already indicated. All right, so if you ever want to change the permissions to that document, if you no longer want to share the document, for example, you would do the same, go into Manage Access, Share, and again, just update the permissions however you uh, wish, okay? There are other options here if you want to share it to anyone, but um, that will depend on the situation. In most cases, you're, you're going to select the second option and then these settings that we've talked about here. So this is basically how you can go about sharing documents in Microsoft 365.